is recession coming or it is already there so this is the question from majority of the recruiters and what is that exactly going to happen after that do you think if recession is already been in here or it is coming so companies are going to lay off people are going to lose their jobs are we going to have a tough time and this is exactly what the same question i also had and i asked some com- experts industry experts and i went online and checked what exactly going on at this point of time well looking at the current trend in us yes sometimes it feels it is currently in recession why because the industry experts industry experts like sia staffing industry analyst they say that 41% of workforce say us is in a recession okay that's what and what is their experience so through their survey they found that 41% people say that it is in a recession there and 33% believe the us will be in a recession in 6 months all right and 22% said their company has frozen hire see companies are stopping they they are not hiring any new people and 19% say their company implemented a major restructuring so maybe the employee shuffling or maybe some reorg some change management they had done it 14% say the company has cut bonuses why bonuses to save costs right extra cost if something is happening overhead they are deducting it now 4% say the company implemented for lock with benefits for lock means you do not work and for that this is the benefit for you all right no work no pay but this is what the benefit is 44% of work, uh, workers say that they are secure in their job and 36% say they are very secure so here despite of being recession 44% says they are okay 36% say they are pretty much okay all right now this is the number where they have done it the survey and they found it through the 1000 individuals now what is that all about so here sia is one of the a uh, top a uh, statistics provider for staffing industry this is staffing industry analyst and so what is that all about now after this corona hit and now you see the companies are freezing uh, their hires and they are cutting the bonuses and everything is happening now it says that some sort of negativity is going on and now what is recession recession means two consecutive gdp is in two quarters less gdp matlab pro- gross domestic products right we know that it means the products or the services whatever it is so product could be for food item or could be for electronic items or any any items services could be healthcare education anything that could be anything that is produced within the country and the purchasing power of the individual if it decreases for two quarters now that says the instability of economy in that country now that is what has been experiencing in us so here let me show you something what i found interesting all right so here one is uh, another person of okay, a van who has contributed this information it is a uh, last month uh, it's about a week right so what he says is anyone hoping the us economy would finally return to normal in 2022 meaning anyone hoping it means it's not going good so following two years of what is that dislocation from covid-19 pandemic has so sorely disappointed right now here what he says is there are so many indicators says that things are going in a negative manner including the ukraine war but the good thing here is people are there like the fed chair federal chair the jerome powell he says that he did not believe the us was in a recession see there is a mix and a match of uh, opinions when it comes to a us recession so here if you see okay by that matrix what is that this is what we were discussing right there is no universal definition for this but analysts and investors commonly define it as two consecutive quarters of negative gross domestic product now Neg- negative gross domestic product is which is not positive in the buying ability of the people now by that metric what they say us is already in that recession the us gdp contracted at a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 0.9% in the second quarter of 2022 it means it is already two quarters it's running behind 
after dropping by 1.6% the first quarter first quarter is 1.6 second percent is 0.9% now this says that it is already in recession now when uh, for my knowledge when it was a recession first it was around 2008 right it lasted for around 19 months but the effect that experienced till some seven eight years meaning around 2014 2000 till 16 people who lost the job household income or that sort of uh, and you know continuous hiring those things did not recover recession it, it went away meaning the GDP has increased people started purchasing purchases things but people who lost the jobs they did not get the job easily what was the salary they were previously they did not get get to that numbers once again now what is that for you now what is that for all the recruiters now for the people so when it comes to recession in the um, outside talks or the situation is like that it is always advisable that you build your skills so that you will be recession proof how it is going to be the first is if you focus more on what is that i am going to get what is that the salary i'm going to get by jumping these so many companies now that may put you in a danger because you are going to be a cost center rather than a profit center for any company now if you are a recruiter who only uh, focuses on getting salary or not about productivity then there are high chances that those people will be removed why because that comes with a company cost structure you will be in the radar for example if company is paying 10 lakhs to a recruiter so definitely the company is going to expect more uh, productivity from that individual first i would suggest you that this is the time when you focus on yourself and rebuild on your skills rather than complaining rather than going with the problem be the solution identifier be the answer identifier take challenges do not go into a comfortable zone where everything just works by itself no so once you understand that it is your skills your productivity and how different way of doing things can save your job then you will definitely come out of the comfort zone if you have so this is the suggestion now companies might be hiring tens and hundreds of people now things go bad they are going to release the people they are going to release those individuals who are primarily at the highest salary and they release the people who are in the lowest contribution understood meaning people who are in the high package they lose the job people who are in low contribution meaning on the placement board if there are no placements less placements but still making money those people will be removed and whoever stay there maybe they get an option of taking a pay cut or maybe no incentives or less incentives it depends upon the company to company now what do you think the market is going to be now according to you what is that you are uh, six senses or your analysis says is it a recession or it is going to be a recession and what is that we should do in this situation we only uh, feel that nothing is going to happen to me or do you think we should definitely prepare for ourselves to face this recession and become a recession proof this is suman pachigala i wish each and every one a good career a wonderful career growth though it is a recession or not and uh, once again i wish a good luck to everybody of you and uh, i invite everybody to change the industry the people the life because i'm on a mission to impact 5 million lives through reporters and i invite each and everybody of you and i wish you well being take care and god bless i'll be waiting for your answer to see what do you feel Take care. Bye.